Uh, now this wasn't the customer, this was the guy that was in charge of the rigging and setting everything down. I guess the foreman. Me and him had words. Uh, he wanted me to pull in and I told him I was not not going to pull in because I didn't think I could back out. And I told him if I can't back in, there's no way that I can back out.
All right, we're on I-69, just north of um, Fort Wayne, Indiana. We're at the uh, big rest area. It's a little windy out here, so hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Uh, we're at the big rest area. It has been a busy couple of days, and uh, I stopped over in Louisville a little earlier. I had to deal with a flat tire this morning. It's that same flat tire that you guys saw before. But let's take a look at what we got um, here. Let me show you this tarp job here on this generator. So this is a generator right back here. And uh, I was gonna say I was pretty proud of my generator, my tarp job, it looks pretty good, but I got a corner poking up through there. I did use padding all across the top of it, but sometimes it works itself loose. But other than that, it looks pretty good. Um, this right here, this is the cover for the generator that goes on on here uh, they shipped it as two separate pieces now hopefully you guys saw the video of them loading it uh, they put the cover on first and then um, and then the generator um, one thing I did with this cover is uh, I, I, I didn't crank down on it too tight on the straps I mean it's enough holding it down but I did end up putting a 4x4 in the front uh, just to kind of help it just in case it wants to slide forward a little bit but uh, and there's no bottom to this um, like I said because it, it just sits right on top of the generator you can see in there it's just a shell so but uh, I, I don't know how much it weighs it, it doesn't weigh much um, this tarp job right here when they booked the load they, they did not call for a tarp and then when I got there, the guy wanted it tarped, and uh, I said, as long as they pay me, I'll tarp it. So, uh, so as long as I got confirmation that I was going to get paid, and it's no big secret, but I got paid $100 to, uh, to tarp it. So that wasn't too bad. It took me about 30 minutes to tarp it up. So they paid me an additional $100. But so these are my tires. You guys heard that I had a tire issue. Um, I ended up buying a used tire and putting against another used tire um, it was all over a nail in there and I'll talk about that more when we get inside get stopped for today we got about another hour to go um, but what had happened a nail would worked in there I went to the truck stop they tried to find it they couldn't find it I couldn't find it so uh, ended up it, it where the nail was they couldn't patch it so anyway that's kind of the story on the tire $150 for a used tire and it'll last until uh, I get done with those but all right so we got about another hour um, another hour to go we're going up to to Kenosha to Kanoa Kenosha that place in Michigan where the TA truck stop is that I can never um, pronounce but that's where we're going so let's uh let's finish up there and once we get up there i'll talk to you guys some more all right we made it over here to to kenosha to kenosha michigan at that ta truck stop that i can't pronounce um let's see real quick uh talk about the tire uh i went with a used tire because i wasn't ready to buy new tires yet and I didn't have time to, to mess with that. And I want to get somewhere where I can get a good deal. 150 bucks for a used tire is perfectly fine. Um, I went to a tire shop and not a truck stop. Truck stops will charge almost $200, $250 for a used tire. For a little bit more money, you get a brand new tire. Uh, but for 150 bucks, and that was mounted out the door. So uh, I thought that was a pretty good deal. But what it was, when that tire was flat, I aired it up. Uh, you saw in the video I aired it up um, and then it did good for a while and then when I left South Carolina uh, and I got up to uh, Tennessee and I slept this morning I woke up and the tire was flat so that's when I went to the tire shop and figured out the, a nail had worked its way in there and it got into the inside liner and uh, they just they didn't want to patch it and I understand that because it was it was it wasn't in a good spot but anyway tire situation is fixed um, uh, one more thing or two more things uh, we're gonna deliver this tomorrow tomorrow will be Thursday Friday we're gonna run up to White Cloud and load up 
going over to uh, near um, Bettendorf, over by Walcott, Iowa, um, or Davenport, over in that area. Um, so we're going to spend the weekend at the world's largest truck stop over in Walcott. Um, I hope to be there maybe Friday night. Uh, our appointment to load, we're going to load in White Cloud, we're loading Fire Brick. It'll either be the bricks or it'll be the big sacks. Um, is nine o'clock on Friday morning. So, uh, and then we're going to get to Walcott. We're going to spend the weekend at Walcott, uh, get a reset. Might go over to that truck museum and check that out. Uh, okay, lastly, this generator, and I was at the crane. You'll see in the beginning of the video, I hope you can see in the beginning, uh, how difficult it was to back into where that place was. Well, me and the crane operator had words. Uh, he wanted me to pull in, and I told him I was not not going to pull in because I didn't think I could back out. And I told him if I can't back in, there's no way that I can back out. So we kind of got off on a bad foot there. And uh, me and the crane operator, or I, I, not the crane operator, but the guy that was in charge of the rigging. Uh, now this wasn't the customer, this was the guy that was in charge of the rigging and setting everything down. I guess the foreman. Me and him had words. And uh, I will say, you know, it's your truck, it's my equipment. If I think I'm going to tear up my equipment, and I know my equipment, that guy doesn't drive my truck, he doesn't back up my trailer, he doesn't know how this truck works. And you know, if I don't think I can do it, I stand my ground and say, no, I'm going to tear my truck up. I'm not going to do it. Uh, so, you know, don't let, you know, people intimidate you uh, to do something that you don't think you're supposed to do or that you think you're going to damage your equipment. So, and, it, and if I would have pulled in and he set it on the trailer, his job's done. He doesn't give, he does not care if I back out because his, pro, his job was to get the thing on the trailer. My job's to to back out so anyway it, it got off to a, wrong, a, a bad start there but uh, we got it in there um, other than that that's it uh, it's been a busy week it's been a real good week so we're gonna get a little break over the weekend so all right that's it thanks for watching I'll talk to you later